Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I've brought a two pieces of ceramic pottery to show you. Um, they're made by a fairly obscure company called Bequet. Um, it's actually the name of the founder. His name is Hubert Bequet and he ran a pottery out of Belgium. Um, he started working on in pottery in the 1920s. Uh, in the 1930s, he started his own factory and he was in operation until the 1980s when, you know, they started to struggle and they ended up shutting down. But their heyday was actually the 1960s. The reason I wanted to talk about them is because they have a fairly distinctive style. And I think these two um, vases that I have here are pretty typical of that style. Very colorful, very ornate looking, um, kind of bordering on a majolica look really to my mind. Uh, usually trimmed out in gold. You can see it here on the top of the rim and then you can see it accents the design as well, but lots of bright colors. And I just think they're, they're very interesting looking, eye-catching and I don't really feel that they have the kind of old-fashioned granny look that a lot of pottery from this period tends to have. So um, I personally like them. These are actually mine, um, but it's not that easy to find. I, um, in the last eight or nine years I've been doing this, I've only had uh, probably only two or three of these pieces in my store. And it's probably been a good five years since I've seen any in, you know, thrift shops and that sort of thing and estate sales as well. So they, you're not going to come across them very often, but they do, in my opinion, have a fairly distinctive style. So if you happen to see something that looks like this and it either appeals to you or you think it's something that someone you know would like, they're definitely worth picking up. Now, from what I can tell, at least the last time I looked into the pricing, they're not super valuable. Um, I think both of these would probably sell for less than $50, which given their size is, you know, reasonable for the amount of decorative value you would get from them. Um, but, you know, because it's a more obscure maker, uh, I think that's an opportunity for people who like this look to get something from him that is not going to break the bank. I mean, I got this cool matching pair, which I'm very tickled about because most of the time when I have seen them come up occasionally, they've just been like one and they're usually not in groups or sets of any kind. So anyway, before I wrap up, I do want to show you the mark because it's pretty easy to tell if you find one of these in person that this is what you have because the pottery is marked. It says Bequette right here. And uh, it was made in Belgium, which you can see at the top there. And it's got a little style number. So it's not that hard to identify once you, you know, locate it and get a chance to actually pick it up and check the bottom and see if there's a mark. I don't think there were unmarked ones floating around. So, um, as I said, I think they're interesting. These are actually mine. <laughs> So, you know, if this is something that appeals to you and you want to go out looking for it, I'm sure you could find a few on eBay, hopefully some of them reasonably priced. There's probably some on Etsy as well. Uh, if you're looking at estate sales and stuff, it could take a good bit longer because they just don't pop up that often, at least not in my area. Maybe if you were on the East Coast, you'd see them more frequently because they're essentially European. Anyway, I hope you've learned something today and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.